take a look back at some of the lighter moments that have made ESPN over the last 30 years. I guess I could wait a moment because Prompter's going to catch up with me pretty soon. I can almost feel it, can't you? I guess not. Fans booed Canseco's two performances and even pounded on the truck he was in when he left the park last night. You want me to give you the mic? Thanks. As part of the prenuptial agreement, Tanya gets to keep the pickup truck. Michael keeps the tool chest. Says Michael Smith, quote, <laughs> I don't like, <laughs> he gets a tool chest. But as Ron Jaworski points out, the franchise appears to, appears to finally be, I can't even read it when it's right in front of me. Oh, that's funny. As Syracuse comes from behind at the end to beat Georgetown. But I think the one thing that's interesting about the USFL people, George is Watch it. <laughs> in Mobile, Alabama for Sports Center, Lou Palmer, ESPN. This story, Bob, is a story that simply has been rising throughout the last the last couple of uh, weeks. The same team that had a 49% interest sold also had a major trade rescinded. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. <laughs> written, by Francis, <laughs> written by Francis Scott off key. Tell him I can hear. Tell him I can hear this. Over here. Hello. <laughs> I can hear Fowler. Coming in three. Get out of here. Coming in three. Why do I come down here? Every Thursday at this time, we like to bring families together with another heartwarming edition of Calling All Stars. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to enhance this. All right, we're going to do that physical fitness thing, so enjoy your workout. I'm Chris Myers as we head for the dark days of summer. Lights out, baby. I'm Jack Edwards. I'm yeah. Chris Myers. See you. This one counts, all right? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> wow. <laughs>